Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing yet another edition, this time extra large, of a weekly wish list or washout. If you're new to my channel or if you haven't seen this series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Moods Instagram page. And I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish list or if I think everything's a total washout. Now, for those who saw last week's video, I was, I had a huge migraine on Tuesdays, which is when I normally film this video, so I missed the entirety of last week's video. The week before that was a bit of a short video, and I did miss a couple of products. So, this is actually Monday night when I am filming this, so we have plenty of time to go through a whole ton of products. Normally, I would film this Tuesday morning, but you know what Tuesday morning is here in the States? Voting day. So, I'll be out voting. Once you see this, I'm already voted. Like, so if you're over 18 in the States, you should be voting. <laughs> you should be. You should have already voted. You should have voted. You better have voted. <laughs> so anyway, with all that said, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this weekly series. And if you have it and you'd like to, I hope you would consider subscribing, hitting that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So the first product I really do want to get to is the new Warrior 2 palette from Juvia's Place. I missed this product a couple weeks ago, and I have a bit of a story about this one. So the first time I saw this palette on Trend Mood, I don't know if it was the lighting or the picture, it did not look interesting. Like, I was just like, oh, eh, the colors look muted, I'm not a fan, blah. But then... I was on Instagram and I saw, was it Spooky Lips and Fat Hips? Yes, so, so Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips did post a photo of the palette that she bought on Instagram and I don't know if it was just the lighting that was different, but the palette in that lighting looks really nice. It's still a neutral palette, that's what the Warrior palettes are known for, but this one's different. The mattes are different and just looks, the tones look really nice. And so seeing the picture on her Instagram made me want it. Made me really want this palette. So now I really want to buy it. I don't know if it's going to come to Ulta. I'm hoping it does. I would like to get this from Ulta. But anyway, it just goes to show you like how lighting and pictures can really just change everything. Fenty is coming out with some, or has already come out with some loose highlighters, it looks like. They're called Fairy Bomb Shimmer Powders. I don't use loose highlighters, I just decluttered all of my loose highlighters in my last declutter video, which came out yesterday if you missed it. It'll be in the cards. But I don't reach for loose highlighters. I don't. I think they're a great value if you only want to have like one or two highlights in your collection. You're getting a lot of product and it goes really far. It does. Both the size of my collection and how I like to use highlighters, I, I don't like the loose ones. I just don't. What in the actual hot mess is this? So it's a kit. Comes with a nail polish, lip color, an eye color, and a mascara from Louboutin. You could hold a gun to my head and say, buy Louboutin, and I'd be like, no. There's no way on any of that is worth the price. I've never seen one positive, like, oh, this is totally worth $90 for a nail polish. Or like a hundred dollars for a lipstick. No. <laughs> no. I mean, there's a really fine line between uh, luxury and stupidity. Yeah. Okay, so this is something that I'm still a bit confused about. I still see people talking about M Cosmetics, and by people, I mean Tread Mood and Emily Noel 83. That was started by like Emily Fawn. Emily Fawn, is that her name? Michelle Fawn, oops. So that was the makeup brand started by Michelle Fawn, right? I remember watching her back when I like first started watching like makeup videos on YouTube. But then, like, seeing them more turn towards, like, aesthetic videos and not tutorials, I was just kind of like, eh, not my style. But is that the brand? Like, I really don't see a lot of other people other than Tread Mood and Emily talking about this brand. I really don't know anything about it, but they're charging $36 for a pack of mini lipsticks. Seems a bit steep. And then it's $22 for one lipstick and an eyeliner. 
See, when you get like indie brands like this or brands that aren't mainstream charging that much for like minis, doesn't really make me want to buy them or try them or look into them. I just kind of gloss over it. So did this shock anybody else? Morphe is now in Sephora. Like when the, the heck did this happen? Nothing about Morphe really screams Sephora to me. I, I don't know. We'll see how long that lasts. Maybe they'll last as long as Colourpop did. You know, what, two weeks? Uh, well, anyway, so apparently Morphe is in Sephora. So, Kylie revealed what the inside of her two new extended palettes look like. The Peach Extended and the Burgundy Extended. Can I speak? Extended. I'm gonna say the Burgundy. I definitely have all those shades. Like, I can get Blood Sugar, Modern Renaissance, my new Pat McGrath palette. All those together kind of make up that. But the Peach one is- I don't know what it is about it that's drawing me in. Just like, there's- three matte shades that are just calling me. It's like those two lighter ones, like the top three, it's that next two. I'll, I'll, I'll throw a circle up on the picture so I can stop making fun of myself. These three shades are just calling to me and I don't know why. I'm sure I have peach shades, but I look at this palette and I actually like want it. Ooh, I don't know how much these are. They look big. They look expensive. Oh, it's supposed to be a new matte formula too from Kylie, so... <laughs> I might be picking up the peach palette. <laughs> but the thing is, like, also, it looks like a peach palette. Like, not like the Too Faced peach palette, which I love, but there's, like, no peach shades in it. <laughs> this one looks like a peachy shade. So, I gotta know... How much? Oh, I think they're already available. How much are they? Okay, it's $45. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. So for 12 shades, that's about average for like your mid-range ones, and it's available now. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's just go ahead and assume that I got it, because I'm probably gonna get it. So I love that in like the week and a half I haven't filmed one of these. Colourpop has dropped an entire new set and dropped a sale and released or like announced a new collab in like a week. <laughs> so anyway, jumping back, this is the collab with Karooch. I cannot, I don't know if I don't, I don't know if I'm spelling that correctly. I'm sorry. So this is the Brown Sugar collection. And I gotta say the lipsticks do look really pretty, but the, uh, eyeshadow palette is just a little meh but I like I like the idea like the concept of this collection is really cool and I, I'm here for it but I definitely don't need any more lipsticks <laughs> and that palette just isn't jumping out at me which you know what thank god because one of their other ones is so this whole collection is actually super adorable and I kind of really want this palette but I'm thinking about it. I'm on the fence about it. I might talk myself out of it. This is the new collection from Besame, and it's their Besame and Disney collab, specifically Peter Pan. It's called the Mermaid Collection. All of the little compacts look adorable. I've only tried one product from Besame, and it's a lipstick. I bought their recreation of like the Marilyn Monroe lipstick. I was down the shore. They had a cute little sh like retro shop. So that was actually, there is a store not near me, kind of near me, that sells Besame in-store, but I don't think they have their entire line and they don't think they would carry like collabs like this. So I'd have to end up buying it online. But the one part that is really interesting me is that palette. You've got a yellow, there's a red, there's a green, there's an orange, there's a blue. Like, I want that palette. Is anyone else like that crazy person, not crazy person, but is anyone else like obsessed with keep a lo lotion on you at all times? Like I'm the person that has like a full bottle of lotion at my vanity, full bottle of lotion at my desk at work. I keep hand sanitizer and lotion in my purse. Like if my hands start feeling just a little bit dry, immediate like lotion time. 
but I think it's because like back in like high school I used to get like hands that got so dry that they would actually like crack and split and huh, I have like nightmares about how my hands used to be back then so now it's just like lotion 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 it puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again so I love love Sigma kits Sigma brushes are among my favorite brushes like not even among they are my favorite brushes I bought one of their big full sets and I've been good for makeup brushes for a long time I really don't need to buy any other makeup brushes but whenever I see them come out with these cute little kits and they're so affordable oh, mm. huh. so I'm probably not gonna get any because I don't need any more brushes I have way too many brushes as it is but if you're interested in some makeup brushes Sigma are the best quality that I've found. I just, I seriously love them. I think, I think from what I've heard, they used to be more affordable. And so people were upset that their prices were creeping up. But I got into them back when their prices were as they are now. And I still think they're worth that price. So that's why when you can see them like in kits or on sale, jump. <laughs> so this palette from Too Faced. I don't know what to think about it. Like, I like the packaging. I like that they're kind of matching it to their highlighter, the Diamond Fire highlighter, which is really cute. The sh colors could look nice. I think that this picture has a filter on it and it's just kind of destroying how I'm seeing the colors. So this is something I would definitely need to see in person before I would ever consider getting it. That's the first thing. Second thing is... Uh, this eyeshadow palette is supposed to include four innovative, innovative, four innovative self-adhering glitter shadows. I don't know about you, but uh, I don't think there's no such thing as a self-adhering dry glitter shadow. Now, a liquid glitter, that's something else. But if it's a pressed glitter, especially with my hooded eyes, that's not staying. It's going to immediately just everywhere. So I don't know about that claim. But I'm interested enough to want to see it in store. So this palette, I feel like it had potential. I don't know. I, just, I feel like it falls a bit flat. This is from Nablo Cosmetics and it's the Poison Garden eyeshadow palette. I mean, the, sh the swatches look gorgeous. Like they look really pigmented, but I don't know where they were going with this color story. Like, I feel like it doesn't know what it wants to be. Is it a neutral palette? Does it want one pop of color? Does it want three pops of color? Does it... I don't know. But again, I've never actually tried this brand, so I am looking for a place to start with this brand. Maybe this palette? I don't know. If you've ever tried Nabla Cosmetics, let me know down below what you tried and how you liked it and what you would recommend that I pick up. Okay, so sorry not sorry, this entire Makeup Geek Stroke of Midnight collection bored me to tears next why was this palette necessary I feel, this is like the third time they've done this like come out urban decay let me just okay this is the urban decay like on the run mini on the run whatever and it's just a mini of their naked jerry they did the same thing with the naked basics they did the same thing with the naked heat i don't know i don't know but i'm not interested Okay, so this is really cute. Okay, but also, like, Disney is collabing with everybody, right? Disney's collabing with Besame, Disney's collabing with Colourpop, Disney's collabing with Maybelline. Did Disney, like, just realize that makeup exists? Like, yesterday? <laughs> anyway, what I'm just interested in is the Disney and Maybelline City Mini palettes. The City Minis are actually a really good line from Maybelline. And so there's two palettes. One is like a pinky peachy one. You know how I like my peaches. And then one's more neutral, but it looks really smoky. And I really want to try both of them. So I don't know if these are going to be available in stores, but I want both of them. Okay, and for the palette reveal heard everywhere, the Alien palette. What did I tell you guys about those sneak peeks? They never give you the color story. Like, it's this... Oh, I hate the sneak peeks. So when I first saw this palette, I was a bit underwhelmed. A bit. But I looked back, I saw some different pictures. I actually looked at the color story and it does look different. 
it, it's give, actually giving me like subculture vibes, right? I'm interested enough to want to pick it up, but of course I, I'm interested because I've loved every other palette that I've tried from Jeffree Star. So this isn't a huge surprise that I would go out like on a limb and try this palette, but I'm interested. Interested. I, I honestly don't know how that packaging is going to work because it's like a swivel or whatever, but I'm going to give it a shot. MAC is coming out once again with their like mini kit of Fix Plus and it comes in like the little scents like the uh, lavender, the rose, and the uh, I don't know what the other one is. Yeah, I don't know what the last one is. Probably just the regular. But I got that set last year and I loved it. I love the little bottles. I love the different scents. It's affordable. I love this kit. Don't know if I'll pick it up because I do have a full size of a MAC Fix Plus that I still haven't opened up yet. But that's a really great holiday kit. And if you're interested in some Fix Plus, if you want to get them really cheap, if you want to get them really cute, really tiny, get it. So I feel like this Maybelline Matte Bar looks exactly like the Urban Decay on the Run palette. Probably get her. So this just confuses me and it makes me worry for the, like, the environment. Why are these necessary? Like, like, you're just packaging individual makeup wipes? Like, it might be great if you're traveling and you only want to take a couple, but I see, like, the way people are commenting and talking about these, it's like, oh, this is great for everyday use. No, just get the big regular pack. They're not that expensive and it, you're not using as much packaging. Like, I'm actually worried about how, like, people are saying, like, oh, this is gonna be great, blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, even if I was traveling, I just, I would bring my entire thing. Like, at one point, are you, do you only need one makeup wipe? Like, if you're throwing it in your purse, but why would you only need one if you're gonna bring it? These just confuse me. I think it's too much packaging. I just, I don't think it's really necessary. Unless this was, like, given out for free at a hotel, at which point I would just shove them in my bag and just keep taking them. But that's what I do with all of my hotel things, so. Oh, so there's actually three Urban Decay on the run palettes, and they're all unnecessary. Okay, so. This palette has me feeling a kind of way. I'm confusing myself. I feel like I'm contradicting myself because this looks like a palette that I want but it's Morphe and it's gigantic. Like this palette I'm sure is like this big and I don't reach for palettes that big. I don't know, like I don't like that I like this palette so much. I don't know what to do. It's seriously gigantic. It's just a rainbow palette with some bigger pans and then it's just a rainbow. Get over it. You don't, you don't want it. You don't want it. But I want it. You know, this is something that I'm going to have to, like, I want to get, but I'm not going to let myself get. Because I know I'm not going to use it, and I know it could be hit or miss since it's Morphe. Also, sidebar, I think it's hilarious that people are calling it the Jameis Chonis or whatever palette, because that's what a signature looks like. Reddit cracks me up. <laughs> okay. The Berries and Cream Domini Cosmetics palette. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who does berries and cream. Berries and cream, berries and cream. Oh, I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. I gotta say, I'll give her points for the packaging. The packaging is gorgeous. Uh, but this color scheme. Yeah. This is something I really, really want to try, and I really hope I can find it in store near me. Physicians Formula is coming out with what's called the Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. One of my actual favorite makeup removers is from Clinique, and it's the, like, take the day off balm. But I go through it fairly quickly because I wear makeup every day and you have to use a decent amount of balm. But I love the way the balm feels on my skin. It's a lot more gentle than my makeup wipes, even though I love my makeup wipes. But the balm is just a lot more gentle. But it was expensive. It's $30 and I go through it in like two weeks. And I can't be spending that kind of money. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> so I've been looking for a cheap alternative to that kind of cleansing balm for ages and I have not found one that works out well. 
if Physician's Formula can do it, and if it's matcha flavored or themed or scented that I love, I would love it. That enough, I need to find this cleansing balm. It looks like it is $13.99 and I need to find it in CVS. Like I'm gonna go to my the CVS close to my job tomorrow and see if they have it. And if not, I just, I wanna try it. Ooh, moving on to the ColourPop palette that I actually wanna get. So Bretman Rock is coming out with a collab with ColourPop. That blue palette, it's got me feeling things. It's got me feeling makeup things. And I want it. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna get that one. The red one, I feel like it looks like every other palette that's come out. But the blue one's got me. Blue one's got me. Don't think I'm gonna go for the lip glosses or the whatever else. The blush, the, no. I'm just gonna go for the palette. Just that one. Oh my god, I've been filming for like 40 minutes and I feel like my voice is about to give out. Last thing. This is a new cheek thing from NARS. I hate products like this where it's got like the blush and the highlighter and the bronzer all squished in one pan. Nah. I need them separate for me. I can't be mixing. I'm for the strict separation of my highlighters and blushes and bronzers. I don't like this. This makes me feel ooh. No. And with that, I feel like we should be mostly caught up. So thank you so much for watching this extra long weekly wish list or washout. If I missed anything, let me know down in the comments and I'll either include it in next week's video or I'll answer it in the comments below. Thank you again for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.